Hello everybody, this is Pat, the, Pat here from Pat's Path Predictor. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a couple of things that happened. This is probably uh, by, uh, by far the craziest December I have ever seen weather-wise. And in basically in, in just a week, two, uh, two big weather events occurred across the Midwest and parts of the, uh, and parts of the South. And we're going to go ahead and talk about that. I didn't want to talk about this any earlier because they were still assessing the damage from the tornado outbreak and everything like that. And they were assessing how strong the tornadoes are. But now that some time has, uh, has passed, I feel uh, I feel better prepared and uh, and, and everything to uh, pr report this to, every, uh, to you guys and everything. Since uh, the vast majority of the tornadoes have been, uh, have been reported and, and categorized appropriately. According to the national, and uh, according to the National Weather Service, so here we go. We're going we're gonna to first talk about the tornado outbreak that occurred last week. Now, if you saw the if you saw the video of me talking about the moder about the risks of that of that day and everything, well, what I essentially said was that uh, what, I what I essentially was talking about was the risk about it and everything. I also mentioned the tornado that hit Randolph County and Chester in Il in Illinois. And I said, and I believe I said there might, uh, we might have another situation like that. And I was right, but it, it was way worse than that. So we're going to go ahead and go through a few of the, uh, of the tornadoes that happened. It, uh, it was basically, it was the worst tornado outbreak in the month of December in recorded history. This has surpassed, unfortunately, the 2015, uh, uh tornado outbreak that hit Dallas and, uh, hit Dallas and the Fort Worth area. This basically, like, this is now the uh, this uh, the standard of really bad December of bad December tornado outbreaks. This is the standard right here. It was the Dallas outbreak in December of 2015. Now this is it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get to this. We're gonna talk about basically what the hell happened. So this is the outbreak summary map. We'll talk about uh, right here. This is these are the lines right here where we can zoom in and, and out and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in and click through this. We're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, this right here. Uh, we're gonna talk about this right here. Uh, this right here. And we're gonna. T uh, we're even gonna talk a little bit about this right. Uh, this right here because these are the. These are the three main. Well, three or well, this the, these are the basically three or four main events that happened uh, uh, the last week. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of those but before we do be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications for more videos like these it helps out the channel very much and it is much appreciated with that being said let's get back into this so first tornado we're going to talk about right here is we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh the ef4 tornado that hit uh that began in arkansas and uh, and ended in tennessee i want you guys to understand, I'm going to be talking about this as well as the Mayfield, the tornado that destroyed Mayfield in Kentucky, because they were all part of the same system. We're going to talk about all of those first, and a lot of the uh, media out, uh, a lot of the media outlets called it the Quad State Tornado because this uh, this st storm went through four states and uh, essentially, and had it been on the ground for for that whole time, it would have been it would have surpassed the 1925 Tri Strike Day Tornado, which uh, span 219 miles. This was 250. However, we we found. However, that after some evaluation, the National Weather Service found it wasn't one tornado, one continuous tornado, which that by itself is very scary. But it turned out to be two EF4 tornadoes that ended up uh, ended up hitting uh, that area because there was uh, they because if you look at the map back up here, we're going to scroll back up to this. There there's a gap right here. Where the tornado where the tornado cycled for a little bit and then touched down again, so yeah, yeah, this is the one in Mayfield. We're gonna first talk about this tornado right here, which uh, touched down in Cra uh, Craighead County in Arkansas at 7:07 uh, Central Standard Time, and it rapid it began to quickly intensify as an EF2. It uh, this also this is the same tornado that hit a uh, hit. In, uh, the the hit the nursing home that uh, made national news. It killed, uh, it unfortunately uh, tragically killed one person and trapped twenty residents 
in employees uh, uh, in in the building. Five people were seriously injured, and uh, and it was a it was a huge tragedy. Unfortunately, it would then uh, cross into uh, it would then cross into Mississippi County, and it would not enter the state of Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi. This would be through Arkansas, through the Missouri boot heel into parts of Tennessee, and. It, the, it crossed the state line in, into Missouri at 7:40, and it, it passed just south of Homersville and everything. And the tor and the tornado crossed into Tennessee around 8:20. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, this became a wedge. Uh, this was a wedge tornado. This was an e uh, it became an EF4 with winds of 170 miles per hour, six fatalities. There are one in that nursing home. A nine-year-old was. Uh, a nine-year-old was killed uh, tragically, which it's always a tragedy when someone dies in such a weather event like this. It's especially tragic if it's if, if it's a, ch a young if it's a young child that dies as well, uh, especially. So, my heart goes out to the family that was uh, that that lost the, the, this young girl. But anyway, we're gonna uh, anyway uh, we're gonna go uh, anyway crossing to Tennessee. Uh, reach Real Foot Lake, uh, uh, striking the Cypress Point Resort, resulting in three more fatalities. Uh, it's, it's it's a huge tragedy. This was just this all here was just the beginning of a v a very 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 uh, tragic night for uh, for uh, this outbreak. The tornado would weaken. It it would lift. Uh, it it would lift at at eight thirty six p.m. It, having been on the ground for almost an hour and a half. And it reached its maximum width of over a, uh, of over a mile wide. So that in itself is pretty bad. But this is this is the main uh, tornado right here that we're going to be talking about for uh, for the next couple of minutes. So after the original uh, tornado, it uh, dissipate after it lifted. Seventeen minutes later, it would touch down, and it would uh, basically cont it would it would basically strike down. It struck a uh, 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 case. Around 9 p.m., it was an uh, as an EF3 tornado. This is and then it intensified. It hit Mayfield uh, at, as an e, as EF4 intensity, and they issued an, a tornado emergency for this uh, for this one. And the uh, and the uh, and the uh, candle uh, and the candle work uh, fa the candle factory that was there. Uh, it, the tornado directly hit it, and. Unfor and unfortunately, twenty people, uh, at least twenty people, have been confirmed uh, killed in the in the in Mayfield from this tornado. So my heart goes out to the families of the uh, of of those fatalities. It, it was a very tragic night that happened, and uh, and at least uh, at least fifty at least sixty people have uh, died from this to uh, tornado essentially. And this would continue. It would dissipate. Uh, at 11:47 p.m., it was on the ground for nearly three hours. The tornado was a mile wide, and everything was just oh, man. May if you look at photos of Mayfield now, it the where the tornado hit, it leveled everything. And before this, and before this, just I was I was saying as soon as the tornado warning happens, seek shelter, and just man. Uh, seeing this, it really, it really, my heart goes out to the victims involved uh, with uh, with this. Uh, all, all those people that got killed and injured, my uh, my thoughts and prayers are out to uh, uh, out to those uh, folks and their families. And yeah, it, it was just a very tragic event that occurred with these tornadoes. And then our next tornado we're going to talk about is the one that hit Edwardsville, Illinois. Which is where the Amazon where, uh, warehouse uh, was basically uh, shredded. Uh, the it, the media said the tornado uh, that the Amazon warehouse collapsed and everything. I looked at the damage uh, with the pictures. It did not. The tornado did. Uh, it, parts of the warehouse did fall and everything, but it looked like the tornado uh, more. It looked more like the tornado completely just shredded right through it instead of uh, instead of. Uh, uh, what the media said it did was collapse and everything. I mean, parts of the warehouse did collapse and every uh, everything like that. I'm not saying that it didn't, but where the tornado hit, it looked like it just completely shredded everything. Uh, everything it went uh, in its path. So, yeah, and there were a lot of people in that in the warehouse. It 
the tornado just literally touched down in pontoon beach just uh just a few miles west of the warehouse and then just rapidly intensified and then just tore right through the warehouse and then thankfully it dissipated shortly thereafter because had that because uh, had that tornado continued it would have went through downtown edwards uh, edwardsville and we could have seen another tragedy of what happened in bowling green and mayfield which we'll get to the bowling green tornado in just a second but yes it it was it was very it's very sad what happened in here it was very tragic six people got uh, got killed when the uh, structure collapsed and my thoughts and uh, and prayers are out to uh, out to the families of of, of those di of those uh, killed and injured from the, this tornado. In fact, throughout this whole outbreak, if uh, if you if you if you if your loved one was killed or hurt in any way by these tornadoes or severe weather, my thoughts and prayers are out to uh, are out to you. And I hope uh, uh, I hope if your family member er, is injured, I hope they get well soon. This is a very big tragedy. Now the next one. We're going to talk about is the tornado that hit Bowling Green in Kentucky, which uh, was uh, which basically this was this not uh, this was this here was knocking on the door of an EF four intensity winds of 165 miles per hour, one more mile per hour it would have been classified as an EF four, but they assess these things based on damage and not intensity and not wind speed, which I think is I think is wrong. They should be intensifying. They should be registering these based on wind and everything because considering that this is like 165 miles per hour this is essentially a category 5 hurricane in a uh, a, ca a category 5 hurricane in just a small area that's essentially what this is but this tornado hit bowling uh, hit bowling green uh, it uh, it destroyed it damaged or destroyed a lot of uh, of the a lot of bowling green then a second tornado an ef2 hit uh, hit uh, uh, hit the southeastern part of Bowling Green. So, yeah, it's unfortunate how that happened. This whole tornado outbreak, like, it was such a tr uh, such a tragic event that happened. It lasted more than 24 hours. Uh, 62 tornadoes were reported, two of them EF4s, and 89 confirmed uh, uh, deaths, and uh, 75 of which were based in Kentucky. Governor Andy Bashir. Uh, declared a state of emergency, and the federal government approved uh, f a federal relief for the uh, for the uh, for the state of Kentucky because of how bad the tornadoes got. So my thoughts and prayers are th are out to those affected by uh, these tornadoes, and I hope uh, if your if your loved one is injured, they get well soon. But anyway, that was just the first event that happened. The second event was it wasn't like it. It wasn't as bad of a of an it wasn't as bad of an a, 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 as tragic a, as bad as an event, it was, but it was still pretty crazy nevertheless. In fact, the day of the uh, the day that this happened, there was a moderate risk from the tip near Omaha, Nebraska, all the way through southeastern uh, uh, Minnesota and parts of uh, Wisconsin. And you're probably wondering what the hell happened here. Well, some of you probably already know. It was a, a derecho uh, had hit. Uh, a derecho occurred, the first ever recorded in December. It actually broke the uh, the most uh, reports for wind uh, for wind damage, it, which is fifty, which was fifty three, and that was the derecho last year in August of twenty twenty. Uh, this uh, is fifty five or more. The last record was fifty three. So, yeah, this is a this was a very crazy event. There were a lot of as there were a lot of uh, several well separated seventy five mile per hour greater gusts, so yeah, this is uh, yes, this is rather crazy event. The fastest wind gust that occurred, I believe, was one hundred seven miles per hour in Russell, Kansas. So yeah, pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy uh, a week of severe weather. Normally we'd be looking at snowstorms, we'd be looking at ice, and all that. But instead, we're looking at severe uh, at a tornado outbreak, the uh, one, the worst tornado break, outbreak in December I have ever seen, in a derecho, the first ever recorded. So yeah, that just shows you can't play with around with this uh, these weather events right here, and 
uh, and basically, and more than 425 severe reports of severe weather were tallied up, uh, mostly in parts of Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, northern Missouri, south, uh, southern Minnesota, and western Wisconsin. Uh, Wednesday also had the most 75-plus uh, mile-per-hour wind gusts in any 24-hour period, which is pretty crazy. It was 55 or, or more. They're still counting the, uh, the amount, but just wow. <laughs> wow. And ex it, this is was this last week was an extremely crazy week for what happened first a tornado outbreak impacts parts of the Midwest and uh, parts of the South and then a derecho impacts basically it formed in what happened was it formed in Colorado it intensified over Kansas swept through uh, Nebraska and eventually it would dissipate over Wisconsin but still it was it's still a very 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 crazy event uh, and this is this kind of weather is unusual to happen but yeah unfortunately this unfortunately uh th these two weather events did happen they, you, they this is the kind of weather you like i said you don't really expect it, this to happen in december you you expect this to happen in may but unfortunately this happened in december normally when we be looking forward to a white christmas we'd be worried about a blizzard impacting if you're for, if you're living further north in the United States but now instead we're looking at tornado outbreaks uh, and derechos so yeah that's gonna be it for the video everybody um, I hope you enjoy uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, this discussion about uh, about this be sure to leave a like on the video well subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this and with that being said, have a wonderful day, everybody, and stay safe.